Good day, wonderful family. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us a very simple recipe you can use to treat infection, no matter the kind of infection, no matter how long you've been battling with this infection. So stay with me as I share with you the natural remedies you can use. The first ingredients I have here is my ginger. This is ginger. Another ingredient is my turmeric. We all know that turmeric is edible, but it's very, very powerful to treat an infection. Another one is my garlic. Garlic is a third one. The fourth one is our negro pepper. This is optional because uh, if you have ulcer, the negro pepper may be too hot for you to consume. Okay, so it's optional. Then the last one I have here is my clothes. These are my clothes. Yeah, there are many ways to treat an infection. This is one of them I want to share now. In my next video, I will share another uh, home remedy you can use to treat any kind of infection, be it bacterial infection, fungi infection. Okay, so what you're going to do for me now, when you get your garlic, uh, your ginger, this is my ginger, you're going to peel it, make it to be neat, wash it. Okay, after washing it, you get a container like this. Cut it into pieces, into smaller pieces, and put in the container. Get a good number of ginger. Okay, you can get like this. Like this is okay. Then you're going to get your turmeric, a good number of turmeric. You're equally going to peel the cover, wash it very well, cut it into pieces, and put in your container. Then the next one you're going to add in is your garlic. These are my garlic. You're going to get a good number of garlic. Yes, a good number of feet. Peel it, wash, and you know, add to this container. Then another one, remember I said our negro pepper is uh, optional. Negro pepper is called the uh, Oda in Igbo language. Okay, so you can Google it to know what it's called in your own local dialects. Negro pepper, that is the English name, is used to make uh, making pepper soup. So people will know it that way. Okay, so you are going to equally wash it and add to the container. Then the last one where I have here is my my clothes, okay, you're probably going to wash at your container. I know many people will ask me, can they use powdered ginger, powdered turmeric, powder the cloves, and powder the garlic? The answer is yes, you can, but make sure you blend it by yourself to avoid buying fake in the market. There's a lot of fake in the market so if you are using the powdered one they're going to be taking two tablespoons of each two tablespoons of your ginger your garlic your turmeric and your cloves okay you're going to be taking two tablespoons of each add it to a container like this add warm water to it okay allow it to ferment for 24 hours before you start taking it. So how you're going to take it, whether you're using the, uh, the raw one or the blended one, allow soak and allow to ferment. Remember, you're going to soak with warm water. When it must have finished fermenting, you're going to take one cup in the morning and one cup in the night. Note, this recipe is equally powerful for those having heavy flow, heavy menstrual flow, having menstrual cramp. Whenever you're on your menses, you have a terrible, a terrible pain that you always take pain relief before you get okay. So this remedy is very powerful. For people having fibroid, fibroid, when you take this con uh, constantly, it can help to shrink that fibroid. Are you a man? Before you urinate, you have to cry. This recipe is very good for you. Take it first thing in the morning and first thing at night. 
Continue taking it until you see changes in your body. As for a woman, this recipe is, is good to take during your period. So you're going to take it the day one of your period to the last day of your period. Do not take it when you're not menstruating. It's going to help to flush out those bad blood, those bad infection, those things causing infection. And note, when you're treating, if you're a married person, you're treating infection, make sure you treat it together with your partner so that you don't get infected again. And make sure you change your undies. Yes, especially your pants that you're using, you know, make sure you burn those ones and get a new one. And note, make sure you clean yourself. Do not have multiple uh, partners because that is a, an easiest, uh, easy way to get infection. You can equally get infection through the toilet. So make sure you go to a clean toilet before you ease yourself or do anything. Make sure the toilet is thoroughly clean. Okay, so each, uh, for those that will ask me, how would they know that they have infection? There are so many symptoms of infection. You may have an odor down below. You may have an inch, uh, you may have inches down below. Okay, you may even experience rashes. Rashes or abnormal menstrual flow. You will see yourself, you know, flowing heavily like never before. Your menses will run for like eight days without stopping. Heavily, flowing heavily. These are some uh, likely symptoms of infection. So please take this recipe. These are home remedies. Take it with faith by the grace of God. You'll be healed. There are so many testimonies before I even open the channel that I've given this recipe. They came up with good testimony. And I pray that whoever that will try out this recipe will equally come back for his or her testimony. Thank you for watching the video to the end. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.